Hi, hello, and welcome to Gamify Me. We're going to keep going with Undertale. I'm apparently getting close to a castle or something, so let's see what happens. How am I... What? Okay. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha ha. I have no idea what's going on. This is the echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. <laughs> Sound of rushing water fills you with determination! What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure, I need food. Yeah, well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Uh -huh. Thank you. Hey, everyone! Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansie! Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops. <laughs> Sometimes we just put whoopee cushions on the seats. I'm sure that was you. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Definitely burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilly. We'll have a double order of a of Berg. So, what do you think of my brother? I don't think he's... I don't exactly think he's cool, but I'm too nice to say I'm cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. <laughs> He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sure. Bon appetit. Oh gosh. You tip the ketchup, the cap falls off, and the, all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyways. Oh, well, that's nice. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree the pirate tries real hard. Like, how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of Talking Flower? Yes, he's awful. So you know about it, yeah. The echo flower, oh, they're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Pyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Whoop, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you put, uh, pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? Oh my gosh. No! Just kidding, Grillby put it on my tab. Oh my gosh. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Are you... <laughs> what... <laughs> Anything new up here now? Nope. Hi, Papyrus. Ugh, I don't talk to you. 
Your voice hurts, so you came back to have a day with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special, a place I'd like to spend a lot of time. Oh. I just wanted to say hi real quick. Yeah, your house. My house! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Oh. That's interesting. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried making something. It was like a quiche, but filled with sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd! Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oh! <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. Oh. Sand, stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Ah ha ha. Interested in my food, food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for the next program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Dirty sock with series of notes on it. Sands, please don't have your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down and move it. Okay. You moved into it just from your own room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget that. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. No. A classic image. You always remind me of what's important in life. The door's locked. Fine. The joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. They're gonna be really bad jokes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. What? You decide to stop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet, I'm more popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be Sans. You have a race car bed? That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive all down a drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference to theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to, to, to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical lines. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Sure. Closets are hung up. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Cool. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Sure. Okay, dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. <laughs> Step one, 
Press your controller X button for dating HUD. Wowie! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two! Step two asks them on a date that already happened. Ahem! Hold on! I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you! Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care! Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning! Gotta be honest on this one. No! Despite that, you chose to wear clothing today, of all days. What's your interest in me? Predestined? No! Your dating power! Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet? I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and never will. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothing underneath my regular clothes, just in case something somebody has been asked me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't really understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This day won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Open souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. I see, I see. You like the caressing. <laughs> my biceps with a flirting heart, but who doesn't? My hat, my hat, my hat, yeah. But well then, you found my cigarette. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present, a present just for you. It's Paschetti. That's what you were thinking, isn't it? Right, but also wrong. It ain't plain old pasta, this is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finally aged with oak and cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way you can go any further. You take a small bite, your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Oh! Clear now. You're madly in love with me. <laughs> everything you do, everything you say. Gosh, my throat. His voice is killing me. It's all been for my sake. Come on. I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. This time that I told you, I, Papyrus. Um, uh, but it's not in here, or is it just me? Oh shoot. Come on. I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because I flirt you flirted with me, that I was supposed to want a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But, alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your infinite love, intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Come on. I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep you being your cool friend and act as if this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle it for second best. Yeah. Holy crap. Ugh. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, 
Here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. But talk to me. Well, gotta go. Okay. Gosh, that took a while. Still locked. Fine. No, I just wanted to go down the stairs. Whew. I don't want to fight anyone. Do you mind? I am busy. This is the box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Yep, 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 yep. Wait, it ended with something different. Sincerely a box hater. I uh, don't need that either. Interesting. Oh, it's a flower. I swore I saw something behind the rushing that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Can I not do anything with that? Okay. Oh, okay. I can live with that. I thought it would like kill me or something. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Sure. You got an old tutu. Oh, those are cute. That's creepy shadowing. Undine, I am here for my daily report uh, regarding that one I called you about earlier. Huh? Did, did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? But well, no. I tried very hard, Undine. But in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul for yourself. But Undine, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Mm-mm, mm-mm, Oh, thank goodness. Oh, it's the kid. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? Ah, come on. Let's go watch her beat some bad guys. A oh, feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Whew. All right, I'm about running out of time, and the camera's also dying, so... We're gonna cut this one a little bit shorter than normal, that's okay. I hope you're getting excited. I'm still getting confused. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This has been Gamify Me, and I hope you come back to gamify yourself. Bye!